Hello everybody, welcome back to Griff Vines. So today we are back out metal detecting on these wondrous fields. Um, last week we were in a field directly next to me where we found some pretty nice stuff, or Mumma did at least. She found some pretty good stuff. Go and check her video out on that. Um, but we're back out in the field next to it since we asked the farmer um, whether we could go any of these fields and he said we could. So here we are and all these stubble fields behind us are all open for us to detect and I'm super excited. Let's get straight into it before I get colder because it's freezing, like five degrees. Right, let's get to it. I'll see you at the first. Okay, so first signal, well, second signal, the first one I got a little piece of tinfoil, but this was strange because it rang up really low. Um, it was like a 70 and it's a piece of lead. 63, it did ring up as a 70, but I found one of these before and I think this might be one of them. It's, I think this might be a lead stylus. It's basically like, like a pencil type thing. And it's got a point at the end. As you can, as you can see, it's a bit like a pencil, but it's lead. Um, and these could be Roman. I found one before in Norfolk, but this definitely is a lead stylus because of the point at the end and it's sort of like a cone tipped end. But that's really interesting. If you find this here, there could be all, all sorts. That's good, that is. That's a really good find. Straight off the bat, very exciting. Right, let's carry on. Quickly, I'm using the ultimate program uh, by recommendation of Paddy, Paddy Detects. Um, I asked him last night what program was best on Stubbly Plow when he said ultimate program. So I'm giving it out a, a try today, see how it does. But going good at the moment, going good. Right, on to the next. Okay, so ringing up really low actually. There's a little button down there. It's just. thought this might be a bit of slag or coke, but it's a little bit of a button. I think it might have a bit of detail on too. Yeah, a few scratches there and a bit of a triangle. A little bit of a button. It might have a shank. It probably doesn't. Uh, I felt I feel something, but maybe not. But look, another little button, which is shows me this field definitely hasn't been done, which is awesome. Right, let's carry on. This day is starting to be amazing. Right. Okie okay, dokie, okay. so another signal here. I think I might have a bit of a token. Yeah, a bit of a token. Don't know if it has any detail on. I'll clean it up later at some other point. But definitely a token that. I've got that circular rim. It's flat, it's circular. It this is the signal. An 89 it was a 70 though. And just here, got a bit of a thimble. Thought it was silver, but it's not. Sadly, it's a male's one, I think. Broken, it's one side. But yeah, definitely is a thimble. You'd love to see it, one of my favorite finds to find, and artifacts to find. So much social history, post medieval probably. But yeah, crack would find that. And uh, just shows you they've even the people have been walking here. Yeah, they've missed this. <laughs> awesome. Right, off we trot. Okay, so I've just found this, and I think it's actually the, a really nice find. Um, didn't think it was anything at first, hence oh, I didn't do a live dig or record it sooner. But I, all I saw was that, and it didn't, doesn't look that weird. But now I look at it, it does have some more padding on it. I turned it over, and I thought I, I thought I did see some markings. Yeah, I can. There I look. Look at that, there's loads of nice markings on the back of it, which are probably meant to be markings here, but at the moment I can't quite get the markings to show itself at the at this top. Oops, dropped it. But yeah, that's a really good start and a really nice find. I'm sure there'll be some nice pictures up. So what what, what could this be? Um, maybe the lid off, lid off something? Uh, I, I don't know. It, it looks very strange, like it might have had enamel on it at some point because of the nice designs and very, probably looks, for me it looks a bit Georgian, Georgian-ish. There we are, look at that. Right, it's carrying going, but that's an awesome find. I'll put some pictures up after this. Wow. Wow. Ok, 
Okay, so this next farm was actually really quite irony. It's just here. It's giving me a 62 now, but it was, once upon a time, was giving me a 80. But it's just here, and it was quite deep. I must say, all this stubble is getting on my nerves. But here it is. Coroner button. Yeah, that's a button. Bit of a greeny one. Would have been some kind of tombat button. Lost all of its guilt. Yeah, most of it. There we are. Blocking the sun. The lovely sun. There we are. A lovely, lovely little button. How nice is that? Definitely going to try and carry on around this area because I've had more signals in this area than I have in the last hour. So, yeah, nice find. Two buttons and that other nice bit of lid or whatever it is. But very interesting and uh, that one's a little bit of a hot spot. All right, let's carry on and see what else we can find. Okay, so we've got we've got this other field here, and as you can tell, it's quite dipped. There's loads of bumps, and I've really found this like I think it's part of like it's a bit of a stud that's un meant for under your shoe, but it's like really old. I've already found one of those, which is a really good sign, but it's quite waterlogged in the middle. But it's really steep, and I want to go down there. But I've brought my wellies, so we're good. We're good to go down there. Anyway, I've got a 82, 83 here where my speed is. And uh, I'm gonna go and dig it. Right, let's see what it is. All right, so I'm gonna speed up. Ugh, ugh. There we go. Here it is. It is a 80, 81. Let's dig it. Sounds extravagant. I haven't found as many pipe stems as I did last time I went into the field next, next to this one. But there's a lot of pottery still. It's out. Let's have a look. And it is already a musket ball. First, second find of this field, say. First being that stud thing. But second find, a oh, musket ball. That's another good sign. Lovely. Look at that. Right. Off we trot. Right on the surface is a coin. Look how close it is. Holy moly. I'm just digging my bag a sec because I found this piece of pottery and it actually looks quite old. Here we are. It's black. Not a focus. It's black um, and it's sort of thick and it's just got that vibe that it's it just looks old to me. And then it's got a few patterning dots just. Don't know if you can see that, just there, which hmm, I'm not too sure about. But I have seen see I have seen some other pottery. Uh, but and it looks similar to this, but now I say it, now I think of it, it, it doesn't look that purplish black blackish. It's sort of like a crumbly greyish colour, which are usually the older sort of potteries. But that's interesting. And then here's the coin. It looks to be like an Edward facing right in good condition as well. That's nice. Or well, at least the face is, face is anyway. Yeah, that's a nice Edward that. Edward the seventh. There we are. And a bit more crusty on the back. But there we are. It's Britannia. Half penny. Should be able to get the date up and I'll put a picture up now. That's perfect. Look at that. Don't get many Edwards. That's a certain lovely find. On to the next. Okay, so another signal here. So 72, that bounces around, so I'm hoping this won't be a bit of coke or slag, but it's low, but it's quite vibrant. So I'm not too sure about this one, but we'll give it and go. 41, that's quite low that is. Seems to be a bit too low. Oh, 
There it is. And you never believe it. It's actually a Roman shotgun bullet end thing. Can you believe it? That's crazy. Yeah, no, I've had a couple of these at the moment, but it makes more sense because we're actually on the path where the, uh, the, where the uh, tractor, where the farmer drives the tracks in and out of the fields. So yeah, kind of expected it, but you, these are so annoying because they get, they're all like different signals. Like some, some were eighties, some were forties as this one was, and some were like fifties and sixties. So you can't really cut them out or notch them out as, uh, as you can on like this, this one, this two, and it also works on the Equinox as well. It's kind of hard to do that, but there we are. A little piece of rubbish. Let's carry on. Next signal is very deep signal. Look how deep that is. Huge, and it's somewhere in here. It's a nice little coin ball. So we're gonna open it together, and hopefully it's something nice. All right, let's bring it over, the coil over. Let's do this. Dramatic effect. All right, let's do this. Nope. Yeah, it's just in this one. It's in that one. Oh my God, it's a silver coin. Holy moly, it's a silver coin. Ah, oh, that small, oh my God. This is very dramatic. <laughs> I did say it was. Now that looks old. Old, it looks milled. It's not hammered, I don't think. Look at that. That is amazing. Ah, oh, oh, I dropped it. Take my gloves off. Oh. Some be old Georgian silver. Nope. It's going to be a, a Victoria. There we are. Victoria Younghead. It's going to be... It's a threepence. I haven't had one of these in a while. Look at that. That's incredible. Nice condition too. But there we are. A silver coin. Victoria. Threepence. 18... 1845, that's it. 1845. Wow, lovely that one. Yay, silver. Right, you want to see some pictures? Up now. What a find. Okay, so that's me really done for today. Got a cracking time, found some pretty cool stuff. This one has done me proud again. I can't wait to get my DS2 back because of the, the DS2 cuts out coke and slag and there's like 20, 35 numbers. Um, and uh, the DS1 doesn't do that unless you notch it out. And that even then it sometimes still picks up coke and slag. So I'm excited for that purpose. And I think when I, when I get the DS2 back, I will be going back in these fields and the fields right in front of me um, because I'm finding a lot of coke and, and slag in those fields. So, uh, but yeah, I've had, a, I've had a great time tonight. And uh, I can't wait to come back. Really can't wait. So lovely being out. It's a bit nippy, but it's a bit of fresh air. And uh, yeah, so that's me done for today. Like I said, I've had a cracking time and I'm about ready to go home and have a nice cup in my Henry's CAC mug. Thank you, Marcus. Um, a cup of tea. So with further ado, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next. Very last thing on the day, I'm just walking back. I put my camera down and waiting for dad to pick me up. And I've just had this signal 86. Sweet. Right, I'm going to turn the camera around. This is amazing. Look at I've just been digging it there and it's on my spade. It's super dark, so I apologize if you can't see anything. It looks like a cat badge or a badge of some kind. Wow. Right, I'm going to actually I'm going to prop it up and then prop you up and then I'm gonna have a look but give me a second here we go it's not silver I thought it was silver then but there we are look at that isn't that a beauty then don't even know what that says I S S C 
It looks like a badge to me. It's got the crown at the top, but that there is beautiful. Wow, look at that. What a day I'm having. Very last signal as well. I've already filmed my outro and everything. But that is amazing. Look at that. That's a stonker. You love to see it, you really do. This is why we do this for this piece of the history.